DJ's Brew Tube Beer Review. Well, you see the DC Brown Beer in front of you, so you know what time it is. It's time for DJ to go local. That's right, we're going local, because DC ain't that far from here. Probably mm, 30 minutes or less, so that's local in, in my book. Yes, if it's not in yours, well, that's a personal problem you have. Anyways, as I mentioned, we got a brew from DC Brow today. And where are they? Washington, DC, US of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them? We have the Citizen. Now, the Citizen is a Belgian pale ale that they are saying is inspired by Belgian triples. Okay. It's a year round serving, 7% ABV, and between 20 and 30 IBUs. They don't tell you what the IBUs are. A lot of their beers they do. This particular beer they don't. I know this beer is super fresh because on the bottom of the can here, they now have a canning date. Finally. Took them forever, but they're doing it now. Kudos for them for that. Now, this main malt in this beer is Carapils. They're using Abbey Ale yeast, and they said they're using hops that provide a spicy character like Belgian beers do. So, hey, whatever. Now, why is it called the Citizen? The reason it's called the Citizen because this beer is brewed in honor of the 23rd Amendment. You're saying, what is the 23rd Amendment? If you do not remember your U.S. history, 23rd Amendment allowed citizens or people in D.C. the right to vote for president in 1963. There you go. There's your history lesson for today. Aren't you glad you stopped by DJ's Brew Tube? Anyways, we're going to crack into this beer now because I got some fish tacos waiting on me, and I love me a Belgian pale ale with some fish tacos. So, time to crack in. Boom. Don't you love that sound? Oh, yes. One thing about DC Brow beers, you got to watch them when you crack them open. Many, many times, they genie out of the can on you. So, got to go into our tool up here. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. All right. Now, this beer, I have had this before. It's probably been over a year and a half. I had it on tap, and I remember... We were talking about the 20 to 30 IBUs. I remember this being on the sweeter side of that spectrum. Our friend here, Ozzy, or now I think it's called like Beasley or something because Ozzy sued, <clears throat> excuse me, the Brewers Art in Baltimore. They had to change their name. And also 668, Neighbor of the Beast. Um, those two beers are more on the spicy side, less sweet. So, and you, this is also much darker. So, we've got a nice golden amber color like the more brown side of the of the golden to yellow spectrum really nice looking it had about maybe two fingers ahead that's gone down to a sudsy cap when i swirl it now we're getting some alcohol legs and maybe when i drink this down we'll get some glass lazing we're probably about at like 48 degrees right now on this but it's a nice looking beer got that hazy sort of sunset look to it now doesn't it that nice golden maybe clover honey look so let's put a nose on it see what's up in the aroma department Sweet malt, spicy Belgian yeast. Got, I can smell the Belgian hops in there that they mention. But it's got sort of a bready, honey-like sweetness in the background. Maybe I smell a little bit of citrusy from the hops as well. Like orange citrus. Got a nice spicy, honeysuckle, sort of citrus aroma to it. This is going to go awesome with tacos. It smells tasty. I'm right thirsty. Time to dive in and see what's up in the taste department. Cheers. Mm, nice. Hmm. The, the taste is a lot more spicy than the aroma suggests. It's not as sweet as I remember. Maybe because I had some other beers at that time. Drinking it alone, it's it's more sweetness forward than these are. But it's got that nice Belgian yeast spiciness to it. After that, you can tell the spiciness, like they were saying, from the hops in there. You get a little bit of citrus, and it's got sort of a honey, bready honey sweetness to it. Hmm. Super easy to drink. It's got that Belgian bite in the back end, if you know what I mean, that bite from the hop, like this, the hoppy bite in the back end. Semi-dry. There's more carbonation in the beer than it appears. It appears still, but it's got effervescence to it when you drink it. It was weird because when I cracked the can open, you saw it coming out of the top, so I had to pour it in. But now it's totally like chilled out in the glass. Really tasty beer. It's nicely balanced. It's, this is, um, it's, it's kind of like a cross, like they're saying, it's inspired by a triple. It is that. It's sort of like a hoppy triple or like a Belgian pale ale and a triple had a baby. Kind of like reminds me of this beer. But real tasty, super drinkable. This is like one of their core or flagship beers. And I can see why. It goes down smooth. There was no alcohol in the aroma, no alcohol in the taste, and it has a nice medium body to it. So it's, it's well-rounded beer. So what do we grade a beer like this year? I'm kind of liking it. Great beer gives it a 63. Really? 63? That's just freaking ridiculous. Ugh. 
Anyways, B Rabbit could give us an 80. I can see some people maybe giving it an 80, which is that B minus level, <clears throat> almost a C plus, because it's not exactly true to style of Belgian pale ale, but they tell you that on the can. So when you're getting into it and you're drinking it, you've got no excuse because they're telling you, hey, this is a triple inspired Belgian pale ale. So if that ain't enough to read, of course, reading is asking a lot of people something these days, isn't it? So what am I going to grade it? I'm going to give it, I think I'm going to give it a, a B plus, like an 88. I think it's a well-made beer. I don't know if I'd necessarily seek it out. I prefer 668 and Aussie actually over this beer because I like a Belgian pale ale that's a little lighter and with more of a bite. But as a hybrid style, it's a it's a really tasty brew. Um, I would definitely drink this again. I don't know if I'll seek it out, but I would definitely drink it again if I was somewhere and had it on tap or, you know, if the mood hit me. So if you've had this beer, tell me what you think about it. I love that quid pro quo in the back and forth, especially on beers local to me because that kind of rocks. So what also really kind of rocks is if you think locally, uh, globally, drink locally. That's right. I'm drinking locally today, guys. This is DC Brow, baby, right down the road. And that's supporting the craft beer movement, helping this thing keep to grow. So we get more and more variety and takes on styles like this beer is. So to the next DJ's brew tube, I got nothing but a bunch of Belgian pale ale drinking love for you. You know what?